Over the last couple of years of doing this, I've had a lot of people ask me why I don't open my own soccer store. And the simple answer to that question is I am not a store, I do not own a store, I have never owned a store, and probably never will own a store either. Here's why. Just to very quickly explain what I do here, SoccerReviewsForYou.com is my website. You guys have probably heard it a million times. In fact, if you regularly watch my videos, you've definitely heard me say, hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com. The reason why I say that is not just because I wanna plug my website. The website is actually a hub for you guys to get all of these products that I'm reviewing for the best possible prices with 100% legitimacy guaranteed. Cause that's obviously something that a lot of people are always worried about whenever buying products online, especially soccer cleats. There are a lot of fakes out there, but if you go to soccerreviewsforyou.com, all of the links that I ever post are 100% legit. You never have to worry about counterfeits whatsoever. So I give you guys my review. I link you to my website. On those individual review pages, you'll generally find pictures of the shoes that I'm reviewing that I've taken myself that I try to take in such a way that gives you a better idea as to how the shoes actually look in person because what you see in terms of press photos are not always super accurate. And then you also find buy and now links to multiple different retailers, generally with exclusive SR4U coupon codes that I've worked out with specific retailers. Again, getting you guys the lowest possible prices on the newest releases. So just to be clear, I am not actually a store. I do not sell products. And if you go to soccerreviewsforyou.com, you're not buying them from me. You're buying them from whichever retailer that I've linked you to. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but some people get really confused about it. So here's the thing about why I wouldn't want to own a soccer store. And that has to do with the fact that I actually enjoy reviewing products. And if I owned my own store, selling the same products that I was reviewing, I wouldn't be able to do it in the same brutally honest fashion that I've been doing over the last several years, which I think is part of the reason why so many people enjoy the reviews that I make because they are brutally honest. So how would owning a store impact the way that I review soccer cleats? Well, think about it for a second. If I had a particular shoe that I carried in my store and the way that a store would work is if I had an account with Nike or an account with Adidas or Puma, whatever brand it might be, I would buy a certain amount of inventory for my store. That inventory, that stock is now mine and it's up to me to sell those products. I can't send back what I didn't sell over a certain period. I might have to discount it to get rid of it all at a certain point. But basically once I've bought it, from Nike or Adidas, whatever brand it might be, it's completely up to me to sell every single pair. So if I brought in a particular shoe and then also did a review of it, how would it make any sense for me as a store at all if the product was bad to tell you that the product is bad and do not buy it? Do you get what I'm saying? If you're a store carrying a product, you pretty much have to be positive about it, even if it's not the greatest thing in the world, because ultimately you've bought it, you're carrying it in your store and you need to get rid of it. So it really wouldn't make any sense at all for you as a store to give it a negative review. Now that's not to say that a store couldn't give an accurate review of say a pair of soccer cleats, but you have to consider what the motivation for the opinions in the review actually are. It almost turns into a commercial at a certain point. If you think about an Apple commercial for the latest iPhone, guess what? That commercial is going to be overwhelmingly positive because they are essentially trying to convince you to buy their product. They're reviewing it, yes, they're telling you good things about it, but they're definitely not going to tell you the negative things because it's their product and they're trying to sell it to you. The same thing would happen with a store reviewing any of the products that they carry themselves. Why would they tell you that a so-so product that they carry in their store, which every store carries products that are not as good as other products that they also carry, that review on that so-so product is going to end up being probably more positive than it should. They might leave out negative details. And I think that's where you see some pretty stark contrast between certain reviews that you see online from stores and some of the reviews that I post on my channel. A lot of people often ask me why my review is so different from these three other reviews that they watched. And that's because I'm not a store. It really isn't any different for me whether or not I recommend or don't recommend a product to you. I'm simply going to try it out break everything down, go over all the details. It's part of the reason why my reviews tend to be a little bit longer, but I like to explain everything that I am criticizing, whether it's good 
or bad criticism, and then ultimately come to the conclusion as to whether or not that is a product that I would recommend or not recommend. And if I'm not going to recommend it, here are the other products that I would recommend instead that are better for the same price or better in terms of what they have on offer. When you're a store reviewing a bad or even a so-so product, guess what? That review is always going to be positive because you have to sell them. Have you ever noticed that I've never actually reviewed my own SR4U laces brand on this channel? Yes, I plug them in my videos, but I've never actually reviewed them. And part of that is because I actually own the brand. So obviously I'm going to have a positive review. Also, I think shoelaces are shoelaces for the most part. Yes, the quality and the shape and the style is going to vary, but as long as they lace up, they're going to function the same, whether it's SR4U laces or any other brand. However, that's the main reason why I've never reviewed SR4U laces. Why would you want to watch a review of a product that I'm trying to sell you? Now, I want to be even more transparent myself. Yes, I get a lot of product to review for free, whether that's from a retailer that I'm working with or from the brands directly, Nike, Adidas, Puma, you name it, that brand has probably sent me one of their products to review in the past. Maybe they even still currently send me product, but that does not change my opinion on the shoe whatsoever. I am way beyond the point, and this is something that I've always made sure with all of my videos, even the very first ones, once I started getting free product for review, is that my opinion would be my opinion no matter what. There was no special treatment. There was no amount of product that they could send me as like a nice thank you for reviewing their product that would skew my opinion towards being more positive than I think it otherwise should have been. If I think your product is good, I'm going to say it's good. And if I think your product is bad, I'm going to say it's bad. And has that actually hurt me in the long run on this channel? To a certain extent, in terms of relationships with certain brands, definitely it has. I've had brands in the past, and I'm not gonna name names, that were continually sending me product. And then once I started giving a couple negative reviews in a row, just because I thought the product was not as good as it could have been, guess what? That relationship kind of broke down a little bit and I no longer got product from them. And you know what? That's how it has to be. If you're not reviewing the product, in the most honest way possible with no other motivating factor other than just share a brutally honest opinion, then the review that you're watching, the information that you're taking in just isn't accurate and not really helpful. And that right there really explains my motivation for doing this in the first place. It's the reason why I started this up. I was sick of watching commercials. I was sick of seeing reviews that weren't true, honest reviews. I was sick of hearing how the latest and greatest products were always the greatest thing that that brand has ever made because quite simply, that is not the truth. This is something I'm very passionate about and I think that's something that does come across in my reviews, but brutal honesty, transparency, really telling you whether or not a product is good or bad based on how it actually is and why it's good or bad, that is what I do on this channel and that's what I will always continue to do no matter what. Long story short, will I ever own my own soccer store? Probably not. And that has a lot to do with the integrity of my reviews. Because I'm not a store, because I'm not selling you any of the products that I'm reviewing, I'm allowed to be brutally honest. I can tell you if a product is legitimately that good and you should buy it. And if a product is legitimately not that great, or you just have better options out there at the same price point or for the same style of shoe, I can tell you that product's not very good. And then also tell you, because I'm the same guy having tried and worn everything, what you should buy instead as a better option based on my own experience. And again, all of these are my own opinions. You're entitled to disagree with my opinion if you've had a similar or different experience with some of the products that I've reviewed. Ultimately, not everyone is going to agree with every single thing that I say, but I really wanted to make this video to explain that you have to really consider what you're watching when you're watching a review. If you're watching a review from the brand themselves or a store, yes, there is some review in what you're watching, but there's also a commercial aspect to it which you're not getting on this channel whatsoever. My opinion is brutally honest, no other motivating factors whatsoever. With all of that said, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your continued support on this channel. Reviews on a whole bunch of new stuff coming very soon. I'm expecting a lot of it to show up either today or tomorrow. So that'll be going up on the channel very, very shortly. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out 
daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. If you have any questions for me at all, as always, leave those down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. All my social media information is linked down below in the description as well. So follow me there if you don't already. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.